you know me by now, you know me before you don't know me. So anyway, I said, you know, you're right, the research does show that, but I think you've made the wrong conclusion. And then it was like, Arr! and of course, these are all these leadership leaders and students. I'm just facilitating a panel with experts. And instead, I say, have you checked, have you checked the behavior of rich families versus poor families? I said, because I grew up in North Las Vegas. I know I'm so only supposed to be facilitating, but I had to tell this story. And I said, because I grew up in North Las Vegas. I grew up on Web Street. I grew up to poor parents in a poor cinder block home. And in my neighborhood, when my parents didn't know what to do with me, they sent me out to the cul-de-sac to play with the other neighborhood kids. And so we played football together in the cul-de-sac. All summer long, whatever. In the rich neighborhoods, and this is what my wealthy friends and clients do, is they don't go to the other kids. The difference is they send their kids out to play football on a team with a coach. They don't make them practice the piano or send them to go play video games with a bunch of other kids. They give them a piano teacher. They always have an expert in the room. So when those kids grow up, subconsciously, they're learning to always learn from and listen to an adult role model expert, while the poor in America are crippled because they don't know this one secret. So why you may just think it's money, it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with the reason why they have money is because they learn from experts, not each other. Or as Gloria Steinem said, the rich plan for three generations and the poor plan for Saturday night. So while the rich people have learned that it takes an engineering expert to become an engineer, it takes learning from your boss, right, to, to, to move up and learn how to run that company, the poor, because of this crippling behavior that my parents had themselves, they grew with one another, go on Saturday night, they hang out with people at their same level in life, and they badmouth the expert. <laughs> they talk about the boss. <laughs> Am I close to being right? Yes. And so, so it's this behavioral difference. It's how we show them an expert. So the wisest thing a parent can do, in regardless of your, your current social status, is to let them know, honey, come to me if you have a question, and if I don't know the answer, I'm going to try to find you an expert who does. And you can start planting that same seed, and they'll be, if you never were, they'll be the rich person coming from your poor you know, household. Because that's really the secret. The secret to success is there's always a Miyagi for every Daniel. There's always a mature Zoro that helps Alejandro, the poor orphan, change into a Zoro. There's always an Obi-Wan Kenobi. There's always an Uncle Ben who knows a little bit more that takes great, great responsibility to produce great power. And so this is, this is really the dividing line. Here's someone who is in education where we send kids to school where those should be the experts and he didn't. He just did it. That's just what you do. The system said, I'm the administrator, this is the teacher. Didn't even understand why originally we send students to school. And so we wonder now why the schools weren't producing what schools used to. So yeah, it's going to be up to you, but this is a great way to do it. This is a great way to even show them when you're doing those screens.